Welcome everyone to Tech Inside, I'm your host Eric. On today's video, we're going to be doing a review of this XLR microphone, the Audio Technica AT2020. There are a few versions of the Audio Technica AT2020. This is the XLR version, not the USB version. If you have the USB version, the USB version directly plugs into your computer and you can use it easily. This one though, since it is the XLR version, first you're gonna need an XLR cable, which this device does not come with. Also, you're gonna need some sort of audio interface. For me, I'm using the iRig Pro by IK Multimedia. The iRig Pro lets me plug in my microphone to my computer, to an iPhone, to an iPod Touch, and it's really good. But I'll cover the iRig Pro in a different video. But taking a look at the Audio Technica AT2020, what does it come with out of the box? Well, obviously there is the actual microphone itself, there also is this little carrying pouch, and there is a mount to mount the microphone onto a mic stand. The pouch is nothing fancy, it's not gonna protect the mic from any drops or anything, it's just to pretty much eliminate scratching on the device. And taking a look at the mic stand mount, it's made out of plastic and metal, and it seems to get the job done, nothing too fancy but it should hold up. But now let's take a look at the actual microphone itself. The Audio Technica AT2020 is a condenser microphone. It's all made out of aluminum and it's all flat black and there's really not much to it. There are no controls or dials or anything on the actual microphone itself, though on the bottom there is your XLR jack so you can plug this device in. There also is a little logo for Audio Technica and there also is the model number, the AT2020, and there also is a little thing that indicates the back of the microphone. And besides that, that's really all the microphone is. This microphone has a cardiopolar pattern, which means that it's really going to try to pick up the sound in front of it and sort of on the side sides, but not on the back. But here comes the truth. How does the microphone actually sound? Well, I'm going to plug in the microphone to my computer and we'll do some tests with it. So here is the audio demo of the Audio Technica AT2020. Now you do have to realize that the exact quality results will vary depending upon your audio interface, but this is basically how the microphone is going to sound. So right now I'm about six inches away from the microphone and my audio interface is about at 50%. Now I back up to this is about one foot away from the microphone. Now this is about two feet away from my microphone, and this is about three feet away from my microphone. And you do have to realize that this microphone really is made to be up close. You're not going to be much further than about one foot away from this microphone when you're using it. Anyway, now let's put the microphone to more or less of a test. So I'm going to put the audio interface up to 100% gain and really push the microphone to see how well it does at really high gain. So now the audio interface is at its max gain and my voice is probably cracking because the microphone is extremely sensitive right now. Though I do have to give this microphone props because I don't hear much static in the background, which does partially have to do with the audio interface, but definitely has to do with the microphone. Now let's just move around a little bit. I know I'm going off camera. But now I'm about five feet away from the microphone and you should still be able to hear me really well. And that's because this microphone is now picking up basically everything in this room and my voice still is probably cracking. So let's move back to a lower gain. So now I'm back to around 50% on the gain on my audio interface. I would go lower, but I don't find it worth it. I find that the sweet spot is around 50 to 60%. But like I said earlier, this microphone has a cardiopolar pattern, so it's really going to try picking up the volume in front of it and not behind it. So I'm going to switch the microphone around so you can see how well it does with not picking up the volume behind it. So right now it is at the front facing me, and now it is at the back. And there is definitely a big difference upon this. So there is the audio test of the Audio Technica AT2020. What do you guys think? Personally, I think this microphone sounds amazing. I know it's not the world's greatest microphone, but for what it is, it really is good. It has very high quality, and it's nice that I don't really hear any static in the background. Overall, the Audio Technica AT2020 is a great microphone, and for 100 bucks, I think it's honestly a steal. I recommend it to anyone that needs an XLR microphone. It has great build quality and great sound quality, and overall, I can't complain about anything. So anyway guys, I hope you liked today's video. Please like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends. Support the channel out. Anyway though guys, my name is Eric, and I'm signing out.